Alexander Luther, your security override has been accepted. Genesis chamber ready to analyze genetic sample. Acknowledging presence of genetic material. Analyzing. Let me read something for y'all. It says, the philosophical position and rationalistic theology that generally rejects revelation as a source of divine knowledge and asserts that empirical reason and observation of the natural world are exclusively logical, reliable, and sufficient to determine the existence of a supreme being as the creator of the universe. More simply stated, is the belief of the existence of a God, often but not necessarily a God who does not intervene in the universe after creating it solely based on rational thought without any reliance on revealed religions or religious authority, emphasizes the concept of natural theology that is, God's existence is revealed through nature. Now what I just read was the definition of a deist. And a deist is the closest thing that I come to having a label or a category or a group when it comes to religion or no religion, a God, or no God, is there one, is there not? And I gotta put, but I gotta put, I gotta emphasize uh, closest to, because there's part of the definition of a deist that I don't fit in, and that's the part about a god who does not intervene in the universe after creating it. Me, I don't know if it does or not. Maybe it does intervene. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I only know that something created this, got the ball rolling, and it wasn't no big bang that did it. The Big Bang Theory, the singularity or whatever they calling it these days is absurd to me. I only know that something created this. Is it male? I don't know. Is it female? I don't know. Is it both male and female or genderless? I don't know. Is it good? Is it evil? I don't know. All I know is that it is of supreme intelligence and great ability. That's what I know. You gotta be. And that's where I'm at as far as a God. And I don't think that it should take somebody an hour to make it plain. So the rest of the way, I'm just gonna run my mouth about other stuff that maybe only uh, is kind of remotely related. Now in that creation, the creation of this deist God, it also means to me that humans and lions and spiders and plants and flowers and stuff like that were not the only things created. Like Earth is not the only planet here. Other creatures are the uh, weird things that we only see in movies and TV. And stuff that people used to carve into rocks or maybe uh, carve on the wall in a cave or something. Things that people wrote about in books or whatever. Or in other words, I don't think that humans are this thing's uh, greatest achievement and most powerful masterpiece. Oh my god. 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 You see how that sea lion just snatched that little girl like she was just a rag doll? Snatched her up like nothing. So I don't believe that something that create life and the universe would have something as fragile as us be the greatest achievement of all. Look, they need machines to fly. They need machines to fly. So no, I don't believe that we're the most powerful thing in existence. Right? And I used to have doubts about other things being here besides us until I came on here and saw something. And this was about, this was maybe 2009 when I saw this thing I'm about to show you. Right, I wanna show y'all something and there's only one explanation that I'll accept that'll have me change from my position on it. And I've seen people try to explain this and none of their explanations can reach me. Their explanations go in one ear and out the other. I've even seen people try the uh, contortionist explanation. Ah! 
Look, I've personally experienced females who could do things with their tongues. Good with the tongue. But not like this. The contortionist doesn't explain this right here. From the Holy See, more readily accessible on the World Wide Web. It is my hope that this initiative will enrich a wide range of people, including those who have yet to find a response to their spiritual yearning, to the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ, whose message of good news the Church bears to the ends accessible on the World Wide Web. It is my hope that this initiative will enrich a wide range of people, including those who have yet to find a response to their spiritual yearning, to the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ, whose message of good news the Church bears to the ends of the earth. Listen, contortionists won't explain that to me. The only explanation that will move me from my position, which is that wasn't a little girl, but rather that was some kind of reptile or demon disguised as a girl. Or maybe it was a girl that got something living inside of her. The only explanation I'll accept is that that video with the little girl standing there was done by maybe uh, some college students or movie makers that was fine tuning their editing skills, like the ones that made a demon land on top of a church. Nintendo. ¿Qué es eso? No, nunca había visto eso. Uh, uh. Se está subiendo. Suave, 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 que no se me pierda de vista. Something that I thought was real upon sight of it when I first saw it. I thought it was real, but that got explained real quick. Or other college students that made an eagle try to fly off with a kid. I thought that was real. Turns out it was filmmakers testing out their editing skills. But filmmakers, professional or otherwise, that's the only thing I'll accept that can explain what this thing is and what it's doing with this tongue and why it looks like a little girl and what it's doing in there. I'll only accept that one for an explanation for it. Like with this. Okay, what was that? I'm asking, or uh, I'm saying that we're not alone and all these myths, all these myths that we hear about are not myths. Not all of them. And theism and atheism, theism and atheism is an attempt of mankind to explain everything. That's what it is. Theism and atheism is an attempt of mankind to explain everything, or it's our belief that everything can even be explained. It's kind of a very uh, haughty attitude, like we can know everything, or that we're even supposed to know everything. Like we're just supposed to know and be able to explain it. And that's how we are, though. That's how we are. We want to know stuff. It's a natural thing. It's a natural thing that can grow out of hand and morph into hardiness all the way to the point where we want to act like we're God. So, a deist is the closest that I come to being uh, called something, close to. It may be a better description for me out there, but if it is, I haven't heard of it. So that's all I wanted to say on this for now.